Bellus Hip Navigation with a Pinnacle Dual Mobility Cup for a patient with arthritis secondary to hip dysplasia. This case starts with first looking at an AP pelvis to assess for leg length inequality. You can see from the x-ray that the patient's leg lengths are even radiographically. In addition, this case demonstrates hip dysplasia as she has a shallow hip socket. These patients are at high risk for dislocation post-operatively based upon having this diagnosis. I do not use a calibration ball on my x-rays. I can use the patient's contralateral femoral head size as a calibration ball as it was a 28 millimeter head. Using Develas templating function for this patient, I've selected a 54 millimeter pentacle cup and a size seven high offset stem with a plus 1.5 head. My desire is to not lengthen this patient as clinically she feels even. Before making the neck cut, you need to obtain an image of the proximal femur with the greater trochanter and the pubic symphysis in the image. This image is referenced later for the one trial analysis. I use the templated image in surgery to verify the level of my neck cut, marked with a bovi tip. The sales consultant then marks out the reference points on the AP image while surgery continues to be referenced later. Ream to acetabulum and select a cup size. Placement of the cup is done by first obtaining a neutral pelvic image. The cup is impacted in place using concise. Bellus is then used to tell you your current cup position. With my first attempt here, my cup did not have enough antiversion. With concise, I can easily reposition a cup by backing it out and reinserting the cup. Here the cup is in my preferred safe zone with the goal for this patient being near 43 degrees of inclination and 23 degrees of antiversion. A real pinnacle dual mobility liner is placed and seated. The femur is then exposed and broached using concise. A trial broach with neck and head are placed for trial. With this patient, I opted to trial with a size seven standard stem and a plus 8.5 head. I had templated a high offset stem, but with Velis, you can use any combination of implants you want and the software will generate information for you to make a final implant decision. Once the trial is in place, you then obtain another AP hip image. This is then used by the sales consultant to register the reference points. You then run the Velis software and a one trial chart is generated. This chart demonstrates the modularity options of the selected hip implants and their effects on leg length and offset. For a typical arthritic hip secondary to dysplasia, my goal is to add length as determined off of my preoperative exam and radiographic measurements. I also want the femoral offset to be positive and the total offset to be neutral or even positive for stability. Looking at this chart, there are several good choices that a surgeon can choose from depending upon the goals of surgery. Alternatively, there are less desirable choices that could result in significant leg length issues. Based off of the one trial data here, I like where the patient's leg length is with a plus 8.5 head. However, my goal is to not over lengthen this patient as clinically she feels even. I know that with a standard stem, she'll have both positive femoral and total offset numbers. I know I want to dial this patient's leg length into perfection, so I then decided to place a real size seven standard stem and to retrial the one trial with the final stem in place. I find that the active stem sits up one to two millimeters more from the trial, and I believe this is secondary to how the collar rests on the Kelkar. With the final stem in place, I retrialed with a plus five head. The one trial is generated, and I now have a plus seven millimeters of femoral offset and a plus one millimeter of total offset, which is my goal. In addition, I've only lengthened this patient two millimeters in length. Depending upon your leg length goals, I could also choose the plus 1.5 head or the plus 8.5 head and have confidence in hip stability with these constructs. I then select and implant the plus 5 head and this ends surgery as our goals have been achieved. This demonstrates the ease of use of the one trial analysis with Velis hip navigation to go from trial to final implants with accurate data-driven decisions.